Well, it's been a good while, but I finally got an update on the uh, BSA A65 Spitfire engine situation. And there it is, largely completed, uh, minus the cylinder head, and uh, we've got a primary chain case cover that's got a hole in it. But other than that, we're getting close to the finishing line, and here's the cylinder head with new valves and guides fitted. Now, um, I ran into a little bit of an issue. I fitted the inlet valve guides and all I had to do with the inlet valves was grind them in. Um, they, they weren't too bad and too difficult to seat at all, so uh, no problems there. But when I came to do the same with the exhaust valves, I found that they wouldn't even touch down on the seats to grind them in, never mind anything else. And as it happened, I later learned that I had to recut the valve seats first before grinding the valves in anyway. But I had a problem in that the new valves wouldn't touch down on the valve seats. And that was because the valve guides, which you can just about see one of in there, for whatever reason, although all four of them that came out were the same length as each other, and the new set of four were the same length as each other, the new set of valve guides were a couple of millimetres longer at the business end than the ones I removed. And what was happening, they were stopping the valves from bottoming out on the seats because the valves were sort of flaring out from their stem diameter into their head diameter where they were meeting the ends of the valve guides. So I had to um, shorten them. I didn't want to remove the valve guides from the head um, because I got them in nicely. So I had to shorten them in situ and um, I came up with this idea. I started off with this one. This was, some people call them deburring tools, I think. Um, and what I did, basically, this sounds a bit of a bodge or a cowboy idea, but it worked really well. Obviously, I had to turn the uh, cylinder head over that way up. And I started off with this one in the drill. And I met the valve guide end on. And I was able to remove some material from the end that was hampering the valve or the valves from seating properly. However, that left me with a sort of concave sort of entrance into the uh, valve guide and I didn't really want that. So, I very carefully with this pointed one worked around the end of the valve guide, around the outside circumference to sort of remove any sharp edges and hopefully just reduce the height of this edge of the concave at the end of the valve guide and then finally I finished off with this stone. I carefully put it in there again spun with the drill and managed to flush the ends of the guides off nicely and they look just like they did when they arrived and um, no longer fouled the exhaust valves from seating. So I was able to then cut the valve seats and then grind the valves in and then finally fit them. So there may be some footage of this cylinder head looking like something that was dredged out of a canal. It's come a long way and I know there'll be people going, ah, don't handle it, don't handle it, because it's been blasted clean and whatever. Well, I had to handle it in order to do the work on the valves and I'm sure I can get it nice and clean with some electrical cleaning spray or clutch and brake cleaning solution whatever but it looks a hell of a lot better than it did and more importantly than that mechanically it's sound and a lot better than it was but all i've got to do next as i previously mentioned is see if i can get my friend up the road to just run a bit of weld on that crack if i can get him to do that and uh, the head will be ready to go back on the engine all done but those valve guys new valve guides were about two to three millimeters even longer than the old ones although they looked identical in every other respect and it was the uh the valve head end of the valve guides where they break through into the ports it was that portion of them that were longer so uh that's one that some people might encounter or might want to look out for and uh, maybe even measure your new valve guides and compare them to the lengths of the old ones I just uh, assumed they looked the same and put them in and got caught out like that. But at least I was able to do something about it and uh, we're good to go now. So um, the BSA A65 Spitfire engine is uh, coming along towards 
last hurdle at last.